Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He is good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves us with a true agape love. He wants to take that agape, unconditional love, and pour it into your heart and write it on your mind so you can walk in the love of God. In this world, in this situation, in that circumstance that's going on in your life, the Lord is the strength of your life. And that love that he's loving us with helps us to have mercy. It helps us to settle down. It helps us to take hold of him who is our refuge and strength, who is our help, who is there every time we need him. The one who's who's merciful, right? The one who has the answer for the situation. You see, what we need is strength. We need the wisdom of God. We need the knowledge of God. We need the strength and the courageousness of the Lord Jesus in us. We need to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight. Being filled with the knowledge of God is, is coming and sitting down and taking time with Him. It's learning how to walk not in your emotions. If you want to take, you want to do something with your emotions, I bring them into the secret place. Sit down with the Lord and let Him resolve the issue by dealing with you. He wants to deal with our minds and take those, these filthy minds that want to you know, let every thought go through them so that worry and fear can come in. Doubt and every infirmity can just come crashing into our life because of how we think. We take these thoughts and we bring these thoughts and emotions, this flesh of ours, into the throne room of grace and we let God deal with it. I mean, the Holy Spirit's going to rise up in us and show us how to pray. I mean, we, we, I'm just saying, look, we have so much going on in our minds. We're so overcharged with the cares of this life. You know, rather it's the news, something in your personal life, something out there going on, wars and rumors of wars, whatever it is that comes knocking on the door of your heart. It occupies this flesh and makes us tired, makes us weary, makes us sick, makes us confused, fearful, and doubtful. We take this mind, will, and emotions of ours and we bring them to the Lord. You get in that secret place, Psalm 91, here we go again. <laughs> and you allow the Spirit of the Almighty who is in you, that greater one, to show you how to pray. See, he's going to remind you the Lord is your refuge and your strength. He's going to make you, <laughs> he's going to make you sweat it out, confessing the goodness of God. You're not going to sit there complaining about how you feel and what's going on in your life. The Lord sees you and he wants to take hold of that situation. But in order to take hold of the situation, we have to realize that he's our refuge and our strength and that he's there. He's the present help in trouble. Huh? Yeah, I wish I had more time to, to really dig this one out because what we really want is peace. I, want, I don't want to look at other people and what they're doing wrong. What I want is to look at people the way God sees them because he's not willing that anybody should perish, but that all should come into this, this love of God, into the salvation of God. I don't, we don't have time to be arguing in our minds about what somebody did or what someone said. We don't have time for all this fussing and fighting all this fearfulness and dread going on in our soul we want to take everything and bring it to the throne room of grace where we can find mercy where we can find help and mercy 
the Lord will have the enemy running from you. But the Lord needs to be glorified in you. We allow the Lord to be glorified when we take all of this, this soul, this mind, will, and emotions of ours, and we bring it into the presence of God and say, I want what you want for me. You gave me life and peace. You gave me life and life more abundantly. You didn't say that trouble wouldn't come, Lord. You said that trouble will be in this world, but you overcame the trouble. You made us more than conquerors over the trouble, over the, the fear, and over all the works of the enemy. You gave us power over all of his works. I know, everybody wants to run and go cast out devils before they get their mind under control. We're supposed to be transformed by the renewing of our mind and the knowledge of who God is. When we see who He is, we know what we are and we begin to proclaim what He said. I have peace and I have life because the spirit of life is in me. Now you got to fight for it. You really get, you have to take the soul of yours and fight for what God gave you. The angels are there. They're ready to assist. They're ready to go in and help us who are heirs of salvation. They love us. God loves us. That love and that mercy is more being poured out on us, but we gotta, we're stripping away the flesh. We're stripping away our idolatry. Idolatrious, uh, idolatrious mind or whatever you want. We're stripping away all the thoughts of the world to come into the true knowledge of God, the true nature of God. He gave us peace. He gave us life. He gave us a sound mind. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And I know they run all those words together, but take each one of those words and see how they work in your heart and in your mind. They bring you into the true nature of God. We're, we're able to go about doing good in this life. I want my life to scream, Jesus, Jesus, look at Jesus. I want my life to look like him who died and rose again for me, who sprinkled me with his blood, hmm? who put his name on me. That's what we want. We want to look like the Lord. We're being conformed into the image of the Son. So that means taking this weak flesh of ours and putting it right there in that place of grace. We're making ourselves submit to God by acknowledging who he is and acknowledging his ways. This is not a religion. This is a relationship in which he comes into our hearts and makes his home in us. He's the light of the world, the, the, the prince of peace, the one who created all that there is, seen yet not seen, and heard yet not heard and he knows about human life more than we do he knows every heart every mind every motive he knows where everything is trust him today with your heart trust him with your mind trust him with those feelings uh, again i'm still stuck on this verse that jesus said when he was talking to the disciples as he's going as he went out to pray and the disciples had fallen asleep. He said, pray that you would not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And I, I keep on thinking about that. And it just brings me to that place where enough is enough all around me. And enough is enough on the inside of me, in my mind. So I take this mind and I bring these imaginations before God. I sit them there and I charge this mind and I charge this imagination with the knowledge of God and the knowledge of his will so that I can submit to God in all of my ways. And the goodness of God begin to flow out of me in every area of my life. We're Christ's seed. We're his children. We're being conformed to the image of him who was and is and will always be. 
we're being conformed to the, to the image of the living word of God. Oh, <laughs> let the Lord dwell in your hearts richly. Hmm? Let his word dwell in your heart richly. Have your relationship with the Lord. Talk to him. Get it, the knowledge of who he is and let it be stored up in your mind. So you can begin to walk out your soul salvation in the true victory that Christ has given us. The true victory is having the awe of God, the knowledge of the Almighty. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. You won't have to fear this world and fret this world. You won't have to sweat this world. But we have life and peace. We have rest in our hearts. No more anxiety. No more fearfulness. No more doubting. No more... That word keeps coming to my mind. Idolatrious ways. Not adulterous ways, but idolatrious. I don't know if I say that right, but whatever. To God be the glory today. Have life and peace because it's what he gave us. Fight in the throne room of grace to get what the Lord Jesus gave you. Peace. Bye-bye.